Minister Kweku Ajiman Menu has also been speaking on the construction, re-equipping and retooling of health facilities. Agency, he should be treated as such. But then there are bits where there is no resources or whatever it is like. You can't sit down and look at your I mean, brother to die. I visited um, a hospital in Paris. Paris is far away in Europe, a developed system. At an AIE center of Charles de Gaulle Hospital, there were patients sitting in chairs like we are sitting here, taking blood infusion. That was emergency. And I don't see why when there's an emergency, somebody should be turned away. You see, this was one of the challenges when I encountered, I talked about. It is correct that directives alone can solve the problem. And um, it's unfortunate that this issue came up. The irony of it is that this particular matter, the 70 year old man, went through almost all the types of facilities we have in our country. You know, we have about five different groupings that do service provision. Mm -hmm. Ghana Health Service is the largest. The Christian Health Associations, including the faith-based Islamic ones and others, right? We have the quasi-government institutions, things like the Commercial Bank Hospital, Senate Trust, and others. We have the private sector enclave, private, several of them providing health service, mm -hmm. registered and accredited, and people with um, professional practice certificates in them. Yeah. This particular case started from a private facility, the understanding we have from our preliminary investigations is like that that is where the man always attend clinic. Virtually, he was referred to Kolebu without a referral note, and they go to Kolebu and somebody saw them, even went through triaging. These are preliminary things that we have, I mean, are uncovered. And they send the man away to a polyclinic. And the polyclinic, they send him away to somewhere else, to Snate, and then later on, finally, ended up in Lekma. So you see, from private facility, to a hard work with a quasi government institution, to a public institutions, and then we ended up in Ghana Health Service facilities for death. What I said initially is that I wouldn't believe that they encountered semblance of a middle class type of a professional even in the facility. I have always said that probably people they were meeting were the very um, down, low level sort of, um, how do I call it, uh, professionals there. But then they should have consulted with the in-charges, either the nurse midwife or the midwife or the doctor on call and things like that. But um, we have set up a committee looking at what actually happened for us to know how we can address the matter. Mm -hmm. We don't want to rush to do certain things that might be changing as we move forward. So we're doing a comprehensive holistic assessment of the matter and I believe soon the committee will present a report. Apart from this, almost all the facilities that they encountered, Ghana Health Service has set up a committee investigating. Kolebu is looking at what they can bring to us, the private facilities we encounter in the association, and when we get all these things and assimilate them, we know what it is that we're going to do. Right. Um, immediately, what we said, and I even said that earlier, only the appropriations were a bit um, not very fast. We set up a call centre that will engage patients and the general public to give us information on things happening in the facilities, because the minister and his deputies and even the chief director of the ministry cannot be everywhere all the time. Mm -hmm. And since we have massive amounts of these um, points and stations where we treat people, it would be very, very challenging for us to think that we can monitor and supervise all of them at the same time. So when we get a window through which patients and the public can talk to us, we might be solving some part of the problem. But um, we are not waiting on the committee's report. Um, we've started working on how quickly we can expand the call center facility we have with health insurance okay. and see how we can put people in there to take calls from us. So the purpose of this call center would be sort of to take feedback from patients? We want to engage patients. Okay. We want to create a window where patients can talk to the center. Okay. And we'll sift through and see if you can do troubleshooting and things like that. Yes. Last night, mm. for example, I was in the office in the day. Uh, around half past ten when I was going home, I got a late call. And somebody was calling me from Kumasi about Manshia South Hospital, where there was an emergency. Somebody has been there for nearly two hours. There was no doctor, nobody seen to them. And that person.